Now, why did they go there? Historically, historically, is that we are Bantu people, Bantu people. We originate from the Congo. It was not by default. It was not by mistake. For them to go to, to, to Congo or to go to uh, Angola, because according to the demarcation, according to the border of our forefathers, before Berlin Conference, Angola was part of the Congo. Zambia was part of the Congo. Zimbabwe was part of the Congo. You go to Gabon, you go to Cameroon, you go to up in Ivory Coast, it's part of Congo. We had uh, the uh, Baza Congo, you know, we had only one kingdom in the continent. Everybody paid allegiance to it, it was in the Congo. So, so, so everything started, the, the Bantu migration and or the Bantu people came from the Congo. You can say you are better off because we are, we are being brainwashed. You are, you are being, 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 being made a black British or a black French or whatever you want to call yourself. But the fact remains is that you are a person who comes from the Congo. You like it or not. And I'm emphasizing that. You like you can have more money because you have sold your soul but you come from the Congo, you like it or not. That's where we come from, all of us, as the Bantu. So as we were migrating down, because we were looking for food, we were looking for greener pastures, we were, we were hunting. That's why you can find the people that are being named today as the Koi and the Sands. They, you find them in the Congo, you find them in Rwanda. You find them in Tanzania. Now, our art, as today it has been perceived that uh, people who, who do or who write in the caves are the Khoisans is not true. That is the art of the Africans by showing animals. But it is a culture that has been uh, uh, well entrenched in the Bantu people. It's our culture, it's not the Khoisan culture. Khoisan is just a small minute, it's a clan. But we are the majority of this continent. We are the owners of this continent. And all of us, we knew that we pay allegiance to one kingdom in the Congo. The white men came and divided the whole continent into themselves. They had a meeting, the Bismarck, they had a meeting where they decided to say it's a Berlin conference, where they said that portion will belong to who, that portion will belong to who. They destroyed our cultures. Today we think we are white. We think we are, we are better than the other Africans. The borders were, were, were introduced by the very same colonizers. Who are the colonizers? People who change your way of doing things, your culture, your traditions. These are the people who destroyed you. You might even find out that a person who lives beyond your border, it might, it, it might be your, your, your uncle, it might be your grandfather or your grandmother or your aunt, 